popular poet with Poe. <laughs> Whilst I was shopping a flea market one day, an item stood out from the fray. Its shabby container was very deceiving, for the treasure inside begged my retrieving. Whoa! Oh, merchant, I quivered as my courage felt pale. Be a good chap and price this item on sale. I'll pay a king's ransom, just give me my wish. For I know this item is worth a lot. Ish. Much later, I walked home with bus money gone, clutching my prize and humming a song. For I had found something <laughs> so special and flat. A magnificent, stupendous, terrific bath mat. <gasps> No. I must have dozed off. What an odd dream I had. But you, though. <laughs> but I mean, really. Why would anyone recite a poem about a silly old unimportant thing like a bath man? <laughs> 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 Always nice to let the person down easy. I love it. Well, not that easy. I love it too. It's a really unique style of filmmaking. That's exactly what I was going to say. Except I was going to say I like the squirrel. Yeah, that's not at all what I said, Len. So I'm glad I didn't say it. So, does that mean you're choosing Misery to direct your rockumentary? Well, no offense, everyone, but. Poe, <laughs> your three and a half hour reel Poe flew over the cuckoo's nest was inspired. But sorry, we didn't choose it. Inspired? Really? Iris, Ruby, Skullboy, Scaredy. Great work. But we just have to go with misery. Uh, yeah, misery. Misery? Misery? Yeah, she's just got the edge we're looking for. Congrats, misery. You're a rockumentary director. I can't wait to get started. Ow. I think you might be too close. Hi, I'm Misery. A while back, I agreed to direct a rockumentary on Frank and Len's band, Rip. I have, in fact, directed a few people in my life. 